Hey there, we are Dave and Ashley Willis from the Naked Marriage Podcast. And today we're gonna talk about an issue that many of you have written us about, and that is the issue of one spouse typically being the one to initiate sex. And you know, in the past, a lot of people assume that this is always like the husband always asking the wife for sex, but really it's not necessarily true. Oh, I no. feel like that that's just a stereotype. We hear from so many wives who say, you know, gosh, I mean, it's like I'm always the one going to my husband seeing if he's in the mood and, and it's like he's not ever in the mood. I'm always the one going to him. So what do you do in that kind of situation? Oh, and that's that's delicate because sexual rejection or even the perception of being rejected sexually when you're the one that's making those advances and your spouse is just like, nah, I'm not interested. Um, it can sting. I mean, mm -hmm. it can really, really hurt. And of course, there are going to be times when one's in the mood, one's not. I mean, that's just that's just life. But we have to be so careful for the spouse who is being pursued sexually that um, that we try to say yes as much as we can mm -hmm. because your spouse is putting not only the, the they're they're putting their heart out there by saying, do you find me desirable? Do you want me? And and of course we should always like want each other. But when we do have moments of just exhaustion or whatever else, we need to be able to say that with a lot of grace, mm -hmm. um, a lot of grace and understanding to one another, making sure they know how attractive you find them and how much you desire them. But just, you know, at this, at this moment, it's like they're screaming kids and whatever else going on, <laughs> it's probably not the right moment. Now, when it's one spouse who's never doing the pursuing, I just wanna challenge that spouse first and foremost to say, um, be willing to put yourself out there. Don't don't get lazy. Don't get on autopilot. Just thinking, well, my needs are being met just based on the the amount of frequency that my spouse is coming to me, and I don't want to do it more than we're doing it now, so I don't want to add to that. But it's not just about the frequency of sex. You're denying your spouse of the gift it is to be pursued. Right. And both spouses have a desire to be pursued by the other, and so make sure you're pursuing your spouse and you're you're letting them know you're on my mind and I desire you and I I want you and I. I want to pursue you. And that's gonna bring so much connection to you both, even beyond just the sexual aspect. You know, years ago, I, we actually went kind of through this because I remember one time, probably within like the first three years of marriage, this is before children. I remember you came to me one day and you were like, it's like you never you never ask me if, you, if we wanna do it. It's yeah. always me coming to you. And I looked at you and I was <laughs> like, like, you never give me the chance. Like you beat me to it every time. Like. When can I even well, ask you? I was asking you know? probably every 10 seconds of the time. How about now? How about now? You want to do that? You want to do that? So. I'm like, sweetie, calm down a little bit and let me have a moment <laughs> to pursue you. Calm down, man. Okay. No, I, I it, and, but I could tell, you know, I looked at you, you really looked perplexed. You had not even thought about yeah, that. Like, oh yeah. You hadn't even thought, well, maybe if I didn't ask this one time, maybe she would ask, you know. <laughs> give, give her some space. Give her some space. And, um, but I mean, in all reality, really, it was a turning point because you were like, oh, I just, I never even thought about that. But it did remind me that I do need to, I, I need to try to go out of my way to pursue you sometimes and not just leave it to you and not just wait for you to come and ask me. And so I, I think it takes both spouses, spouses being very intentional and being mindful of, you know, when was the last time I pursued my spouse about this? Yeah. Has it always been them? And if it has, you know, I need to go and, and may, maybe even apologize to them and say, listen, I've been so busy. It seems like you've been the one pursuing me and 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 I'm just so sorry. Like, I, it's not intentional on my part. I just, I haven't been mindful enough of that because I want you all the time, but it's been you mainly asking and I'm sorry. It's I desire you so much and just reassuring your spouse about those things. It goes a long way. It really, really does. So communicate because Communication is a lot of this comes down to, especially if you're feeling hurt. Absolutely, yes. And instead of just assuming like, oh, my spouse doesn't want me or they don't they don't find me desirable or they don't care about my needs or whatever it might be, really choose to believe the best in each other. But with a lot of grace, both sides just communicate to say like, I really, I have a need for you to pursue me. That's mm -hmm. what this comes down to. And not all the time, but I need to know sometimes that you you want me and that, you, that I'm on your mind and, and that I'm worth pursuing. And that's what I'm craving from you. And let it start a conversation. Yeah. And hopefully that conversation will create just some healthy new habits. Uh, and just keep keep making, making all aspects of your marriage a priority. But in particular, since we're talking about it in this episode, make the sexual intimacy and frequency in your marriage a priority. You'll both benefit as a result.
That's right. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Do us a favor, like and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when new videos come out that'll be hopefully encouraging to you and to your marriage. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.